This is Ben's stuff. Benjamin, we got a, a new, new robot. robot. Yeah, from He's Roku. Made... Yep, Roku. Yeah, and look at this thing. It's the box is pretty big. The box is pretty big, and you know what's cool about the box? It's got a handle on the top. Yeah, that's cool. Like you usually don't, don't see that when you get robots. Yeah. Usually it's just a square box, and then you got. And you have to like do this. Yeah, you gotta toss it out when you're done. This one here, I guess, when you're done, if you want, you can put it back in the box and carry it like a suitcase. Ages three or up. Yeah, so ages three and up. Yep. Roku? It says it can do gymnastics. It says it can do gymnastics? Yeah. No way. All right, so we got a STEM kit here, so I guess you can program it to do stuff. Yep. It says on the bottom here, we got a smart app. So I don't know what the app can do. I don't know, but... We're going to find out. Yep. And looking on the side nine here... Nine movable joints. Yeah, nine flexible joints. Powerful motor. All right, buddy. Let's start opening this thing I up. I hope it's, the motors are powerful so I can do gymnastics. Yeah, maybe it'll be able to pick you up and twirl you around. That's not true. <laughs> okay, let's open this thing up. All right. All right, Ben, we got the robot out of the box and yep. it comes in a nice plastic container for protection yep so that's pretty cool and it, it was has in the, a charger a charger yeah and it was in the box really tight yeah so. I, like we tried to do like a fast forward thing yeah but i i needed someone to hold the box that's right yeah it was tough to get out but that means it's good packaging so it's nice nice and tight nice and snug yeah. yeah so we take that off look how big the feet are oh look at on the bottom we got the wheels yeah yeah so good moving Cool hands. That man, that thing's pretty big. Yeah. Nice. It's got that looks like the power button right in the middle there. Right in his chest. Yeah. Cool hands. Oh look at that. The remote. Show everybody that remote. That's a lot more Holy buttons. Holy moly. That's a lot more buttons than that, dude. Yeah, we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna be here for a while trying to figure out all of these buttons. But yeah. it should be fun. That just means it has lots of things to do. Yeah. Right? Look, it, motors. Well you can hear them. And then motors probably in here too. Nice. Well, it's got nine of them. Look, the power switch. Power switch on the back? There's a power switch here, but there's also a power button here. Sweet. And then the back of the head, it looks like there's speakers back there. Oh, yeah, a speaker here. Yeah, speaker there's also right the a protector screen, so no scratches. No scratches, yeah. That's cool. Should we peel it off? Yeah, go ahead. Oh, nice and shiny. Oh, you can kind of see his face in there. Yeah, you can already see the LEDs. That's cool. All right, Ben, we are going to charge this bad boy up. Yeah. And we're going to turn them on. Yeah. All right, Ben, we are going to show you all about Carl the Robot. Right. Yeah, that guy right there. Now, it comes with this instruction manual, and I'm going to show you this thing right here. And this thing, out of all the robots I've seen, this like is probably the, the easiest with... one to read for instructions. Yeah, and also the ones for wheels on the bottom. Yeah, it's got cool wheels on the bottom. And the other ones that have wheels on the bottom don't have motors in here. No, and the arms turn in different spots in this robot compared to other robots. Mm -hmm. So you get a little bit more on this one. So right off the bat, it just says here to turn on and off. So that's pretty easy, right? So not this one, but the button here. On the back, yep. So hit that. Speaker Viva, I'm Carl the Space Warrior. Boom. Oh, yeah. And then there's a switch on the back. And that's good, too. So the remote has an on-off switch on the back. Yeah. Most, some of them don't. And yeah, I don't like that because then the battery keeps draining. Mm -hmm. So this one, you get to turn it off and save some battery. Yeah, it's pretty cool that they like All right, so here it says you got a standby button. So right in the middle, if he's doing something, you can press it. So if he's doing a dance or whatever. You, just you press, can stop it. You just stop it by hitting the middle button. Here we got record a message, and it records up to 15 seconds. So you already recorded a message, didn't you? I did. Let's see if it's still on there. Okay. It was for when I was playing I'm called the Space Warrior. Press the record button. I just want to turn on the remote for... Hello. Good. So you can hold up to 15 seconds. So it's pretty cool if you need. No problem. Oh my, God. Oh my goodness. <laughs> See, the standby button works perfectly. Okay, so we got touch touch sensitivity. So you can touch the top of his head. And it will interact. Yeah, do it. Okay. Right. 
Does it say anything else? <laughs> oh, so a whole bunch of things. I like you. All right, so then it has a remote control. Yeah. So let's check out the remote. Here we go. Let's see it. All right, so we got all of those buttons and it says everything in here, what you can do. He likes to talk a lot, eh? Yeah, he, he never stops. <laughs> he doesn't stop talking. Stop it. All right, so we got the left hand up, left hand down. Stop it. <laughs> All right, so let's just show what the remote can I, do. I press a button, and after like three seconds, it talks. Yeah, it's like a, it's a standby, an instant one, and then that's it. Okay, so, so you can drive him around, right? Yeah. So Got it. it's off. So. And he's got a really good movement. Hey, that's another thing right there. His waist. Turn his waist again. Yeah, ro you don't find robots doing the waist thing. Yeah. Usually it's just stiff. And the arms, now you can move the arms. Yeah, like that. That's that's good. It's got a lot of motors in it to move around. Yeah, and then you can click this. Oops, you click this. Reset. Oh, and it puts it back down? Mm -hmm. So Ben, this robot also has 50 buttons you can record and play back like program it. yeah you can program it so, so let's put, do a quick program so, cute. so program. Your programming begins. Okay. oh my goodness the that was 12 things That's pretty cool. So you can make your own dance or whatever you want to do, really. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty neat. Make him do an obstacle course. Yeah. I don't even know what that was. <laughs> yeah, he says a lot of weird things. Should we do the Kung Fu one? Try it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it's a pretty long song. It is a long song. Like not long, 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 but So you said there's a gold version too? Yeah, so I saw that there was one that had gold trim instead of the blue trim, which is kinda of cool looking, so I guess you have but options. If you guys don't know what trim means, it's just color. Yeah, anything that's blue there was gold. So that's pretty cool. It's got a whole bunch of different songs on it. Mm -hmm. And the first one we did was the gymnastics one. The gymnastics one's pretty cool. I like that one. Yeah. And that's the gymnastics button right there. If you guys can see it, this one. We did the first song. Okay. No so, let's see what else is there. Stop it. So there's a story mode? Let's hear the story. Is there a lot of stories? Um The Princess and the Pea. Once upon a time, there was a prince who wanted to marry a princess. But he insisted that his bride be a true princess in body and spirit, and not just some young girl with a crown. He traveled the world over in search of his princess. That's pretty cool. So let's pause this one. So basically, if you're going to bed, you're a little guy, a little girl, and you want to hear a story, this it's like a little Carl here, the space robot, I can tell you a story and put you to bed. Mm -hmm. I think that's pretty neat. Good for them to add that. Okay, so now this thing has voice command. Look at all the different voice commands you can do. And each voice command looks like does three different things, and some do two. Let's try this one. What does it say? Hello. Hello. You are so cute. Try it again. Hello. Hello, guys. <laughs> One more time. Hello. Hello. You are so cute. So it's got a whole bunch of things here. It says, look at it. This one says, no hello. Problem. It says, hello, guys. I don't know what that word is. Mikalila. Mikalila. Mikalila or something. <laughs> and then you're so cute. 
So you can make it go forward and backwards, right? Mm -hmm. Just by telling it. You don't even have to hit the remote. Move backward. It's loud. <laughs> Move forward. Yes, sir. And Ben, you know what? Out of like most you of the robots, so this one here, it recognizes your voice. Yeah. You know, like it hears you loud and clear. Mm-hmm. Is there a volume to turn it down? Am I gonna stop? Yes, there is. This button right here. Press it? Okay. That's better. It's better if the volume's down. Mm -hmm. Then they can, everybody can hear us. Okay, that's great. So there's lots of voice commands. What else is there? What's the next page say? <gasps> the app. So this thing comes with an app too. So let's bust out your iPad. And this guy won't be talking once it's on. <laughs> All right. All right, Ben, so we got that app out on the iPad Chica, here. Lira. And you just connect it and you pick the device when the Bluetooth is on. Launch. Yeah. Control. And there Control. you go. Let's do this one. What does this do? So forward, backward, turn. Oh, wow. See? It's almost like an RC car. And then if you want. So it's got pre programmed buttons. Wow, look at all the buttons, Ben. And that's just one page of them. That's really cool. What else? What are the other buttons there on the other pages? This yep. one's program. You can program so it? So this is left hand. Yep. It's left hand, right hand, move, too. expression, music. Can you try some of it? Should we do... Oh my goodness! Um, we should do... Movement. Movement. Let's give that a try and hit play. Oops. And open. Stop it. That's pretty neat. You could probably spit her all day program some cool stuff. Come on back over here, Carl. All right, let's see the other ones. What's on the other menus? What's oh, the content one? Gymnastics. Go to volume. Volume. Low volume. There we go. Oh, can't have that on there. Copyright. <laughs> All right, so we got Song, story. Dance music. Low volume. Go to story. See if there's any other ones. Holy moly, there's a lot of stories on there, Ben. Oh my god, it's stop. Wow, that's crazy. It's got so many different stories on there. How I like, many? I don't know. You're pressing it. Oh, there are four stories in all. That's pretty cool. All right, so let's drive this. Oh, wait, hang on. There's one more thing here, Ben. The Bluetooth playback. So you should be able to watch, like, let's go watch your channel on YouTube and have it, uh, the voice come through the robot. Okay. Okay? Right here. And all that's coming through the robot. That's pretty clear, right? They got a pretty good speaker in there. Yeah. I like that. So that's ben, metal detecting. <laughs> yeah, we are a metal detecting video. All right, Ben, so what do you think about this robot? I love it. What's the best part about it that you feel? I think that it's really cool that I can move its arms and connect to your tablet. Yeah. So it's easy to use too, right? Mm -hmm. Do you think other kids would like it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because it's easy to use, right? Mm -hmm. So kids can tell it what to do. They can talk, get it to dance, tell stories. And then... You can touch his head. Yeah, you can touch his head and, it'll make, and it does something, interacts. You can use it as a speaker. Yeah. You got an app. And you got a cool remote. Which is upside down. It's upside down. But that's okay. 
So there's three things you can do. You can talk to it, use the remote, or use the app. So you'll be able to control it no matter what. I don't know, Carl. You're definitely pretty cool. And also the thing that we did. So. Yeah, moving side to side and the arms being able to move like that. They did an excellent job. And it's not expensive either. It's well worth getting. Also, guess what? What? You don't have to use batteries. Yes, you charge it. You don't need batteries. You just charge it. There's a port in the back. Even better. Great for parents. Don't need many batteries. And it takes two hours to charge and two hours for playtime. And you know what? We played with it for more than two hours. So I don't know. I, and it didn't take that two hours to charge, I don't think. I think they're just recommending two hours to charge. But you get a lot of playtime with this thing. Carl, thumbs up? Two thumbs up? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Carl. You win a spot on our robot shelf. Yeah. Yeah. So anyways, guys, look it up. I'll try to put a link down below so you guys can get your own Carl. And then let us know what you think about Carl. Uh -huh. Okay? Mm -hmm. All right, everybody. Wait, 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 wait. What? Wait, you can open his thumbs. What do you mean? Oh, yeah. So I guess if you wanted to, you could put something in his hands. That's pretty cool that they even added that feature. Mm -hmm. I like that. All right, guys, we're going to sign off. We hope you enjoyed our video. We hope you like Carl. Yep. The space and, robot. Yeah. And yeah. also, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and like the video like all the other people did. Right on. All right, Carl. See you later. Bye. Bye.